Bridge. Hooking the motor bag up to the fuel pump. Come on, come on, come on. Evidence van is ours. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. Adams and Last Vogel. Bad set! Bad set! You're putting the ball on the net. Get the ball up. We're getting raked. Hey, man, step the court. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Cool. Don't touch me! Don't ever touch me! Sharp, okay? Starling, you're disqualified. This house plant walked right in front of me! I was going for the ball! Get off the court. Call the cops. Hey. Don't front me. All right? I'm on your side. You gotta chill out. It's the second tournament this year we've been kicked out of. The guy was in front of me. I was going for the ball. Two 
Two San Cielo police officers were hospitalized today after their evidence van was hijacked by unknown assailants. Police officials say that the van was being used to transport a large shipment of seized guns and narcotics to a holding warehouse downtown. This is Hope Stanley reporting. I'd like to order. Um, yeah, let me just stop this order, hun, and I'll be right back. Easy 10, John, easy 10. Just gotta cut you out of that herd of buffalo. Hi, hun. Okay, um, we're like all out of the special because like half the meat went bad. You know, that table over there is awfully noisy. Do you know who they are? Oh, uh, they're just a bunch of guys from the volleyball tournament. They get kind of apt sometimes. Seems like you know them pretty well. You bust tables in this joint, and you get to know, like, everybody a lot more than you need to. I swear, it's like a long way from being Miss Redondo Beach drag strip to this sawdust and vomit turkey farm. Um, uh, that guy sitting in that corner, he's somebody, isn't he? <laughs> what? Well, he just looks so familiar. Is he a famous actor? Who are you, sweetie? Vince Black. You're kind of cute, Vinny. You from around here? My guess is no, because, like, I probably would have noticed. Do you think I could get his autograph? Maybe uh, you could introduce me to him. He's no movie star. He's like a volleyball player. I remember that now. I've seen him on TV. Uh, Digger? He's like having a party at his beach house. And he'd like me to go, and I'd like to go, but those dudes rage too hard. Well, then maybe I can take you to dinner. In that case, why don't we go to Bill's? It's just like two doors down. How soon? Dad, tell Meyer that I'm on my dinner break. <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> Like, my name's not really Avalon. See, like, I just kind of made that up. You're kidding. No, um, really, it's like this town on Catalina Island, and, um, see, my real name is Mildred Hemsucker, but being in acting and everything, I didn't think that Millie Hemsucker would really bring the groceries in, so I, like, changed it to Avalon Jones, which I think is sexy and bright and sort of sassy. So you're an actress. That must be exciting. For sure. Of course, I, like, haven't exactly done anything yet because I, like, was gonna take these classes, but when I was Miss Redondo Beach Drag Strip, um, I kind of got involved with this guy named Larry. Um, he was the guy who organized the contest, so I got kind of sidetracked. He was boring. Oh, God, I hate boring. But, um, anyways, he said he knew this guy who knew this guy who knew the casting director for studs, so I thought my ship was, like, gonna come in. But then, like, Larry's old lady totally got ballistic because she, like, caught us in this motel. So then I was, like, on the next bus to Nowheresville. Bad break. For sure. Avalon! There you are. You flew out of there pretty fast, honey. Who's your friend? Um, Digger Sharp. This is Vince Black. Time for you to pay up and move on, Vince. That's too bad. Why? Because it ain't gonna happen. So now you've got a big problem, Digger. You wanna start something, break some furniture maybe? Problem is you'd wake up those cops over there and end up spending the rest of the night in jail. So why don't you play it smart, hmm? Just turn around and lead this parade of cartilage out of here. Okay, McFly, here's the game. I see you on the street, in your car, on the beach, anywhere. I'm gonna get busy. Give it your best shot. I'm up for it. See at the party, Avalon? For sure. I was you, sweetheart. I'd hop on a friend out of town. You don't want to be any part of that road gang. Avalon, I got a better idea. Why don't we go to his party? Hey, Donnie. Brad butt plant yesterday. You should have seen this guy. Last match of the tourney. He totally went backwards into the table of judges. Oh my god, it was so funny, like, I almost died. Give me a minute, will you, Avalon? Okay, sweetheart, but if you see Digger, you better holler up. I don't want to miss the dust up. For sure. That was 
like so awesome. How did you do that? No, stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. Get no, stop it. Please get off me. No, no, stop it. Great. Didn't your mommy ever teach you what no means? Didn't you ever learn how to knock? Ugh. Lousy move. California driver's license. Vincent Black, no credit cards. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Welcome back. Did you hit me over the back of the head? Yep. You want to tell me why? I'm an active aggressive and you were handy. What is Vince Black? You travel kind of light, you're not a surfer. Surfers don't ride bikes, no place to put the board. Then there's this contributing piece of data. You sound like you stopped by the university and got the air in your head changed. I'm waiting for a story that makes sense, Vince. I know you were working me for information about John Sharp at the bar. All that zippity-do about thinking he's an actor. So now you've got one shot at a story. Make it count. I work an FBI special crimes unit out of Phoenix. You were in big trouble, lady. Besides assault with a, a deadly weapon. You're detaining a federal officer in the pursuit of his duty. That's a class A felony kidnapping. What's federal statute number for gun running? Title 18, U.S. Code Section 922A1A. Not bad. Is there a prize? I don't know, honey. I've never seen a fed that looks like you before. How'd you get through Quantico with all those tattoos? Honey, I got these tattoos after I was an agent. It's good undercover camouflage. What's the chassis number on that bike out there, Vince? I don't know. If I have to go crawling under there, I'm going to get real nasty. 368-415-927-something. You know, we could have a lot more fun if you uncuffed me, Avalon. I'm having fun, and <laughs> my name's not Avalon. Millie Hemsecker probably goes in the bin along with uh, everything else, huh? For sure. You know, I was actually thinking about running for Miss Redondo Beach Drag Strip for a while, but um, I didn't want to wear those metallic short shorts. I don't like the looks of this, Vince. What? Well, I accessed the Harley Davidson parts registration sheet, and um, they said that they sent out a new carburetor filter 92 to somebody named Reno Rains. I'm betting that's you, Vince. Let's see if you're wanted for anything. California State Fugitives. Wanted for murdering a police officer in Bay City? $10,000 reward. Call Bobby Six Killer. You hunt bounties. And you're wanted for murder. You've got a really good sense of humor. So you know who he is? Oh, yes. Six Killer Enterprises. Let me speak to Bobby, please. Who's calling? Indian Pathways. It's regarding his subscription. Just a minute. Bobby! Yeah. Got something. I, I don't know what. Robert Six Killer. Hang on, Bob. Say something. It's Reno. I'm kind of jammed up here, Bobby. Jammed up is a nice way of saying he's handcuffed to a motel bed. 
I'll sell them back to you for 12 grand. Or he goes back to the local bulls at market price. You'll what? Who is this? This is not a negotiation. I figure he must be worth more than the bounty to you, or you would have turned him in yourself. I'll meet you or your representative in one hour at the Sea and Sand Motel in San Cielo. Don't be late, or you'll have to go visit him in the pokey. I have to go to the bathroom. If I were chained to the bed, I'd try real hard not to. Am I confused here? Because I thought the plan was to keep a low profile. Kale, I thought you weren't coming in until noon. I took an early flight. What'd you do, fight World War III out on this deck? I think I screwed up, Kale. Some guy was here yesterday, long hair, tattoos. He had me in cuffs. I got away, but it was like he was trying to take me in or something. What'd you expect? Post office has more pictures of you than your own mother. You're out here throwing drug parties for a bunch of beach bunnies? Where's the police van? I got it stashed. You burned the boxes, right? Tell me you burned them. You burned them, right? It was daylight when we stashed the van. I didn't want to risk anyone seeing the fire. It's OK. It's safe. I don't believe this. We got to get rid of that stuff. Now, where is the van? Boat storage down at the marina. I rented it with the house. I just figured it wouldn't be safe to go down there right now. You know, you're so lucky you didn't get busted, John. What is it with you anyway? I can't leave you alone for a week without you going brain dead. Now, pack up the car. We're moving everything. This place isn't safe. Hey, Cheyenne. Looking for me? I was afraid it was you. Where is he? Still handcuffed to the bed. I was tempted, but I like a little spontaneity. You're just too smooth and bitchin', aren't you, Denise? Beats being jealous. By the way, he's really cute. Does Bobby let you take him home after work? Let's skip the patter. Get this done. Here's the money. What room? The key's under the mat at room 15. Do yourselves a favor and move on down the road. If I catch him again, the price doubles. And me, without my camera. Shy, I'm in a real foul mood. Can you just uncuff me, please? The key's by the phone there. This key? That's the one. <clears throat> you want to tell me what happened and start from the beginning? I'm out of here. Get out of my way, Bobby. Reno, I know who she is, and believe me, she's long gone. My friend, she's a bounty hunter, just like us. Her name is Denise Dennison, AKA Dead End Dennison. She's as fast as a lynx and as prickly as a porcupine. And uh, I'd rather just cut my losses and move on to the next Desperado, okay? Wait a minute, now just hold on a second. She hit me over the head with a pipe that was wrapped in tape. Well, at least she wrapped it. That's funny. <laughs> Let me see, I spent $12,000 getting your butt back, 20% above market price. So I guess I bought a little time to offer Sage Council, wouldn't you say? Cancel all you want, but I'm going after her. Listen to me, I can help you, but you need to explain to me what happened in there. I mean, I've had scrapes with her in the past. Let's just say I've got a certain sense for dead-end Dennison. I had John Sharp in cuffs. Then she clubbed me from behind and dragged me to the motel room. She ran me with her computer and made me through the Harley parts record. And she sold me like a bag of cat food. Wait a minute, you had John Sharp? Yes. Well, if you had John Sharp, she must have known that was worth $10,000. Question, why did she nail you and not take Sharp? I don't know. She's a squirrel, OK? You tell me. What was she doing when you first met her? Busting drinks at a beach bar, wearing a halter top and cutoffs. She convinced me she was Miss Redondo Beach drag strip. Well, she obviously wasn't there to sell drinks, which means she was probably set up waiting to catch someone. If she wasn't after Digger Sharp, who was she after? A bigger score. Maybe somebody she wants more than Sharp. 
She waits, grabs the big guy first, and comes back and get the little bounties later. Hey, hold it! Wait a minute! You hold it, okay? I'm playing catch up here. Damn. What? I forgot. I have to go to the bathroom. You seem a little loose to you. Yep. We better stick around. If I need some backup, I'll call you, all right? Now, last time you took her on, you ended up handcuffed to a bed. I didn't take her on, okay? I was blindsided. It happened again. <clears throat> you know when he behaves like this? I know he's not thinking right. Oh, damn God. The dead end. It's like her name. Let me tell you. What's this? Hubble Realty. Well, I'm the only one dressed for the scam. You got the cards? We all always come prepared, sir. Here you go. Let's go. Sylvia Laverne Mathers with First Federal Bank. Sorry about the card. We just changed our number. I need to speak to someone about the John Sharp account. I believe he rented a house at 2694 C Drive. Sylvia Mathers, hi, Ben Beal. How do you do? Please sit down. Thank you. You know, she's been operating all over the state for about the last five years. I'm surprised you'd never heard of her. You called her dead-end Denison. Why? Well, the only guy to beat her was a guy named Kale Sapio. Armed robber, smart, mean. In fact, he's still at large. He's got a $20,000 bounty on the top of his head the last time I checked. Anyway, she was able to bring him in on a uh, skip trace back in the mid-1980s. But somehow, he shook loose. And are you ready for this? Stripped her down to her bra and panties, handcuffed her to a dead-end street sign, and left her there. You're kidding me. <laughs> Not. <laughs> UPI got a photo of it, ran it. And she, ever since then, she hasn't been able to live down that name. Well, Digger Sharp's the armed robber. I wonder if maybe Kale's a bigger score. So she's hanging around in order to pay him back for chaining her up to that dead end sign. I don't know. I haven't seen or heard anything about him in years. I think he might be operating out of the state. Good morning, Fidelity Federal. How may I help you? Could I speak to your loan accounts manager, please? That would be Horace McNeil. <clears throat> Horace McNeil? Yeah. Accounting department, Horace McNeil, may I help you? Yes, this is Ben Beal with Hubble Realty. I've got a woman here, a Sylvia Mathers, uh, with your loan accounts department. Yes, on the Sharp Bank overdraft. What's the problem? Oh, no problem. I just wanted to confirm her credentials before releasing any uh, sensitive information. Well, she's with us. That account is seriously overdrawn, and uh, we're trying to get a rundown on it, so anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. Our pleasure. Thanks, Mr. McNeil. No, thank you. Okay, what is it you want to know? We already know that he paid you by check for the first and last month on the lease. What we need to know is did he list any references on the rental agreement, or if he noted a referral we can get in touch with. Well, let's see here. Uh, sure. No, no, nothing. May I take a look at that? Sure. Thank you. It says he rented a boat storage at the marina. Yeah, for his water ski boat. I see. That's sort of strange now that I think of it. Really? Why? Well, just this morning, I had another inquiry on that boat storage. A woman called from Seago Boat Sales. She said that Mr. Sharp had purchased a boat from them and, and signed the registration slip in the wrong place. She had no way to contact him and wondered if he rented a storage from us. And you gave her the address? Yeah. She said she's going to slip a note under the door. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Beale. Call me Ben. Ben. You've been more than helpful.
Hello. Oh, you can try something, but it's gonna get kind of messy. You with the automatic, put it in the van. You other two, put them on the deck. John, tie him up. I'll burn the boxes, you take care of these three. Take it easy, pal, will you, huh? Hey, you're making a big mistake. You know, I mean, we were just looking for my brother's boat, and you're gonna commit three murders right here just because we wandered in the wrong boatyard? Good try. Except for Tarzan over there. He and I have some recent history. Bobby, this guy is so slow, you could catch him running backwards. Is that so? Try this. <laughs> Denise. You're welcome, Bobby. You can thank me later. You get a sale on those things someplace? I'm willing to untie you, Bobby, because I need the backup. But I don't want anybody to get limber. Technically, if I turn reins loose, you owe me an additional 24 grand. Wasn't that the deal? You know, honey, you're beginning to wear real thin. I'll throw Reno back, because he's just too damn easy to catch. But I want your help to collect Kale Sapio. He's the big slob of venison with the blue eyes and the Uzi. Excuse me, but if you want to square it with Kale, Shouldn't you strip down your bra and panties so we remember who the heck you are? Funny. Do we have a deal? Why don't you get us out of these ropes? Kale could be getting away. Kale's not going anywhere until Opie down there comes back. All right, here's the deal. We split the bounty 50-50. You got it? I clock Digger. 50-50 on both. You need the backup, Denise. OK. But this really sucks. <sighs> hey, easy money. There's always next time. Well, it looks like you called this one wrong, Denise. He split. Get over here, you. Sit down. All right, it's time to do a little talking. Now, what was in those boxes he was about to burn? I don't know. How about a little fungal practice? What was in the box? OK, OK. Those two boxes were full of all the physical evidence in the case against Kale's brother, Lonnie. He's in jail for armed robbery. That was the police evidence van. Yeah, me and Marlon boosted it. They use the same van every day. It takes all the evidence to the court for the trials. Without that, the state doesn't have a case against Kale's brother. OK, we sit on him till morning. Then we go to court and see if Kale shows up. Bobby and Cheyenne are sleeping like babies. Indian brave sleep before battle. Pale face, get drunk, vomit in bushes. Nice talking to you. Hey, come on, easy money. Don't take it so hard. Maybe you just got unlucky. Maybe. For what it's worth, you've got pretty good moves. Being a woman, I have a good camouflage. I just snuck up behind you. So tell me, dead end, what is it between you and Kale? <laughs> is it because he cuffed you that sign and got in the paper? Truth be told, I thought that picture was pretty damn funny. <laughs> no, I, I just come from people who don't take well to losing. Neither do I, but I was sure fooled. I bought Avalon Jones right down to the double digit IQ. You were pretty convincing. But you wouldn't buy into dead-end Denison because you don't think you can trust her. I didn't say that. It's in your eyes. Somewhere along the line, you need to invest in people. Somewhere, you need to become vulnerable. Maybe I should take a chance and believe you. Will you take another chance on me? Bye. 
Bobby, why don't you and Shy turn John over, and I'll see if I can find out which court the Sapio trial's in. You're gonna trust me not to put the bounty in my pocket, huh? I guess so. She seemed like she's a little more human to you. Yeah, well, maybe all it took was a little teamwork, huh? Yeah, I Reno. Let's move it. Go! That's him, Ronnie Sapio. He's the small, ugly version of Kale. The DA looks desperate. Kind of hard to try a case without any evidence. Yeah, he's probably gonna walk. I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. Keep an eye on him. I'll be right back. All right. Your Honor, the state is going to have to ask for a dismissal due to lack of evidence. Ms. Crawford, I'd like to see you in my chambers immediately. Reno Reigns, he's wanted for murder, and he's standing right there in the courthouse corridor. No, I'm not kidding. Right outside room six. I used to date him. I'm claiming the reward. Come on, hurry. I was you easy money? I'd get moving. Why? There's a woman in the ladies' room. She's on the phone. She spotted you. She's phoning it in. A woman spotted me? Come on, I'm not that easily recognizable. You're just trying to run me off so you can collect the whole bounty on Kale. I dimed you out, sweetheart. Is this the same Denise who said only last night, what was it, uh, that she was gonna start to invest in her emotions? I did. I invested a dime. And greed was the emotion. Nice try. Shoot. I left the window open in the bathroom. There's a fire escape there. Go. I'm paying you back for this. Get going. That's him. Come on. Oh, jeez, Louise. I'm gonna bang my knee. Oh, God, look at this. You all right, ma'am? Check the bathroom. You okay? someone she's not. Well, if she weren't a beautiful woman, this wouldn't be happening. Trouble is, we'll never find her again. He's right. The way she works, she'll never leave a trail. While you two morons were standing on one foot, grinning and tipping your hat, I was looking right through the salty little babe. Say please, and I'll lead you right to her. Please. please. Sis! An auto track. I put the transmitter under her rear bumper. Ah, oh, sis, I love you. Mwah! Now we can follow that little liar wherever she goes. Ha!
Turn right, Bobby. She's heading towards South Bay. Okay, we're getting closer. Keep going straight. Okay, turn right. That's it. Chauffeur. Actually, you're right. What you are is a corpse. Hey, buddy. Not drive. I'm gonna be a diversion, okay? We don't have a lot of time, so go get some help. Hey, you hear any sirens? You get small, partner. Get your hands off me! You know, I'm really sorry about this, Denise. It's just that you're too tenacious. You never quit trying to catch me. It's too bad we didn't meet under different circumstances. Come on, Caleb, do it. I was the one who called Shut you Shut your mouth. Call him and tell him we're bringing the whole mess in. We'll sort him out downtown. Keep your hands where I can see them. Put your other hand down. I know this guy. He's Reigns. Reno Reigns. He's a cop killer. They called Lieutenant Dixon from Bay City. He's going to be here in an hour. Reno's at the end of the road. Two three eight seven six nine C F. Change to D D. Drunk and disorderly. Be just a minute. I have to talk to the lieutenant so they can get Reigns ready for the extradite. Now we're gonna finally get this piece of vomit. Is this Reigns? I got the extradite officers outside. No, sir. This is Hernandez. He's in for drunk and disorderly. He's been bailed out. See, me and Marlon are staff with us, senor. Tell the lieutenant to get Reigns ready to go. Hey, look, what's the delay, guys? We gotta get out of here. Where's our prisoner at? Look, lieutenant. No, you look. Come on, get him out here. Will you get Reigns out here? Let's go. I want to get moving. This is Hernandez. Way. 
Where is he? I don't know. I don't know. He was in here. You mean you lost him? 